Alright, so this is just a quick little video about these. These are the aluminum ex extrusions from Mizumi, and they all look pretty much the same, except that they've got different names. So this is, here's a, real, a quick look at what the names mean. Um, for the Lulzbot Taz, you need uh, you need an, three types. You need HFSB5 500 that plus a TPW at the end, and that plus an LTP at the end. Um, and uh, the HFSB5, HFS refers to the metal type, uh, it's the type of aluminum. B5 is the black anodized finish. 2020 is um, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters, uh, that's a square, and 500 millimeters is the length. And um, the TPW means that both ends are tapped, so that end is tapped as well as the other end. The um, LTP means that only one end is tapped, well they, they mean that the left end is tapped, but since these are symmetrical and, you know, doesn't really mean a whole lot of anything. Um, but yeah, one end is tapped and the regular HFSB5 202500, uh, there are no ends tapped on that and you can see through the packaging no tapping there, no tapping there. This is the regular 500 and there's no tapping there but that is tapped. And this is the TBW, that end is tapped and that end is tapped. So the TPW, which both ends are tapped, that's used for the Y-axis frame components. The LTP is used for the Z-axis frame components and the regular HFSB5 2020 500 uh, is used for the X-axis. Um, I'll show you a real quick look right here. So got the model, this is just a PNG. Um, so the x-axis, those are the regular ones, these do not get tapped because um, the, there's no mounting hardware on the ends. Um, the LTPs are used on the z-axis where the bottom does not need to be tapped but the top does. Um, and the uh, TPWs are used here on the y-axis. Okay, that's it.